15 Things You Didn't Know About Tiffany's & Co. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Welcome back, Aluxers, to another inspiring video to get you geared up and ready to undertake new challenges as you embark on your own millionaire journey. Now, you simply cannot begin to envision the life of a millionaire without considering diamonds. And there is one brand that sits above the rest in terms of heritage and fame, and that's Tiffany's & Co. What started as a stationary emporium in 1837 in Connecticut soon became one of the most sought-after brands in the world. Tiffany's & Co. may have had simple beginnings, but it's now the place to be seen at if you're buying an engagement ring or just looking to ice yourself in some of the most elegant diamonds on the planet. The blue box is synonymous with huge romantic gestures, and there probably isn't a woman on the planet who hasn't dreamt of being gifted a trinket or two from Tiffany's. They say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, Tiffany's may just be the BFF we're all after. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Let's take a look at Tiffany's & Co. in depth. From luxurious jewels to classic Hollywood movies, Tiffany's has quite the history. So without further ado, let's immerse ourselves in the glittery world of Tiffany's as we present you 15 things you didn't know about Tiffany's & Co. Number 1. Tiffany, Young & Ellis was the original name for the fancy goods store. The humble, stationery and fancy goods emporium was founded by Charles Lewis Tiffany and John B. Young in Brooklyn, Connecticut in 1837. So if you've ever wondered why there's an entire Tiffany collection called 1837, in which every piece is marked with a number along with the Tiffany & Co., then now you know. The two founding men set out to create a store that provided goods to an unmarketed community. However, it wasn't until 1853, when Charles Tiffany took sole control of the store, that the name was shortened to Tiffany & Company, and boy are we pleased it did. Tiffany Young & Ellis doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? The store began focusing its emphasis on fine jewelry, cementing the foundations for the mega brand we know today as Tiffany's & Co. In addition, the all-American brand was one of the first stores to only accept cash payments too, with most other stores allowing their customers to buy on credit. Even back then, if you wanted those Tiffany jewels, you needed some dollar dollar bills to get your hands on them. The brand itself has always been steeped in history, when in 1848, co-founder John B. Young purchased a selection of crown jewels following the fall of the monarchy during the French Revolution. Within his buy, there is believed to be a jewel-encrusted corset that belonged to Marie Antoinette. How incredible! Although, if it's a toss-up between the corset and my head, I choose my head. Number 2. Audrey Hepburn immortalized Tiffany's in Breakfast at Tiffany's as Holly Golightly. There is simply no denying that Breakfast at Tiffany's, starring the divine Audrey Hepburn as Holly Golightly, is one of the most elegant movies ever released. The film, based on the novel by Truman Capote, turned the Fifth Avenue store into a mecca for style aspirationals. Ever since, Hepburn stood outside the store at 5 a.m. in her Givenchy gown, pastry, and coffee in hand. Later in the film, you see Hepburn and George Peppard head into the store on a romantic whim to have the ring from Holly's Cracker Jack box engraved for her further cementing the notion that if you have the cash, Tiffany's will do just about everything for you. Breakfast at Tiffany's was the first time crews were allowed into the store, and over 40 security men were on hand to watch the jewels while filming took place. Another pop culture reference for the jewelry brand is on the HBO mega-hit Sex and the City, when the romantic wasp Charlotte York received her first marriage proposal from Trey McDougall, well, the one she'll tell the grandkids, right outside the Fifth Avenue store. Audiences believe that it was setting up to pay homage to Breakfast at Tiffany's, but in fact, Tiffany's didn't grant the crew rights to film inside the store, so they settled with the sidewalk. Number 3. In 2013, the store's former vice president was accused of theft of $1.3 million worth of goods. Forget breakfast at Tiffany's. The store experience break the law at Tiffany's in 2013 when former Tiffany & Company Vice President Ingrid Lederhaas Oken was accused of stealing over a million dollars worth of jewelry, including diamonds, bracelets, and drop earrings. Now that's some serious haul. The media attention soon flocked to Tiffany's doorstep, eager to find out more about the suspected crime. Reports have suggested Lederhaas Oken was charged with wire fraud and interstate transportation of stolen property. Well, what's luxury without a bit of scandal? Number 4. Lady Gaga, Lupita Nyong'o, and Vogue's Grace Coddington have all been part of the brand's revamp. 
Eager to stay relevant in an age of iPhones and fading trends, Tiffany & Co. enlisted the help of pop star Lady Gaga as their campaign spokesperson for the launch of their hardware line in 2017. Gaga can be seen via their YouTube channel discussing the jewelry and heritage of the brand. And if that wasn't enough for you, legendary stylist Grace Coddington worked alongside Gaga, adding her personal flair to the shoot. The brand has moved away from the overly romantic advertising and instead has chosen to focus on the independent nature of women, their fragility and fierceness all encompassed in their jewelry. Lupita Nyong'o, following her Oscar win, can also be seen in the ad, discussing what jewelry means to her. Legendary ladies wearing legendary jewels. Top stuff. Number 5 as of May 2017, Tiffany & Co. is worth $11.6 billion. It's really no surprise that the diamond paradise is worth such an eye-watering sum. If you factor in their history, craftsmanship, and reputation, it's easy to see why Tiffany's makes so much money. As of January 2007, there are 64 Tiffany stores in the United States and 103 in other countries, from Colombia to Spain, Malaysia to England, putting Tiffany & Co. at number 1,602 on the Forbes Global 2000 list. What's even more impressive is the price tag that some of the diamonds carry. The Tiffany ring with an important diamond, yes, that's actually the real name, is worth an incredible $2.1 million. Tiffany's gemologists spend many years searching for a diamond with as much clarity and color. It has a D color in this size. The diamond is a whopping 12 carats, plus it's surrounded by dozens of much smaller diamonds and set in a sleek platinum band. If ever there was a piece of jewelry to dream about, this would be it. Number 6. The famous blue boxes are recyclable and all diamonds are responsibly sourced. According to a 1906 newspaper article, Tiffany has one thing in stock that you cannot buy off him for as much money as you may offer. He will only give it to you, and that is one of his boxes. The world-famous blue boxes are incredibly sought after, as they are so synonymous with the luxury brand. Plus, let's not forget, they own a shade of blue. Pantone number 1837, which is copyrighted to Tiffany's. How chic is that? Tiffany's has also moved with the times, and the blue boxes are now recyclable and sustainable, meaning that little piece of heaven is helping to keep the planet happy too. In addition to recycling, Tiffany's is going above and beyond to ensure their diamonds are all responsibly sourced, ensuring neither planet nor workers are endangered. The company adheres to the UK Modern Slavery Act and has endeavors to become as sustainable as possible. It turns out those blue boxes are actually incredibly green. Number 7. There's a Tiffany's Engagement Ring Finder app. When it comes to engagement rings, the Tiffany setting is a classic that was first introduced in 1886 and is still the most popular setting for an engagement ring today. Now, the engagement ring may be steeped in history, but Tiffany's technology is not. The brand has an incredible app that allows you to browse, select, and learn more about the rings on offer in the hallowed halls of Tiffany's. What's more is you can even place the ring on your finger to get the full effect of what it would look like on your hand. No doubt leading to some very concerned faces from boyfriends when they glance over at your phone screen. I sure know what I'll be doing tonight whilst watching breakfast at Tiffany's. Number 8. Can't afford diamonds just yet? Tiffany's has something for everyone. If you're longing to be dripping in Tiffany's but your bank account isn't quite there yet, fear not. Tiffany's has a range of affordable goods for all budgets, from their hundreds must-have heart to return to Tiffany's bracelet right through to their $200 perfume. The brand has devised ways for all to get their hands on a little piece of Tiffany's. Though these goods may cost less than $300, you can bet the quality and craftsmanship that goes into each piece is as precise as that which creates some of the million-dollar showstoppers. Yet another reason we love Tiffany's. Number 9. Marilyn Monroe sang about her love for Tiffany's. In addition to Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe sang about the diamond heaven in her rendition of Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, singing, but stiff back and stiff knees, you stand straight at Tiffany's. So you better believe that when you enter a Tiffany store, you feel the best you ever have. The blonde bombshell was known for her love of diamonds, and would often sport Tiffany diamonds when she dressed up to the nines. Number 10. The Importance of the Four C's Every girl should know her duds from diamonds, which is why Tiffany's is always on hand with their diamond guide, known as the four C's. The four C's stand for cut, clarity, color, and carrot. Ensuring all of these are high quality will guarantee you the diamond of your dreams. 
Tiffany's gemologists are highly trained on spotting the very best of diamonds and ensuring the store only uses those of the very top caliber. Speaking of caliber, did you know there are more Picasso paintings in the world than there are colored diamonds? Truly an investment worth making if you can get your hands on one. To find out more about sparkling diamonds, click the video above for 15 things you didn't know about diamonds. Number 11. Tiffany lost a lawsuit against eBay. The luxury brand likes to ensure the quality of all of their produce, so you can understand why they would get upset when sites like eBay make a small fortune selling counterfeit pieces. In June 2004, Tiffany's took eBay to court on the claims they were profiting for selling fake Tiffany's pieces. However, the jewelry merchants lost their case, and eBay to this day still sells fake Tiffany pieces. Want to protect yourself from fake products? Look out for this blue box packaging and hallmark because why would you want to be wearing fakes? That's just not the way of a millionaire now, is it? Heading into a Tiffany store not only guarantees genuine goods, but the experience itself is incredibly luxurious. You won't regret it. Number 12. In January 2015, a Tiffany ad featured for the first time a same-sex couple. The brand has well and truly remained innovative with the times in every aspect of its work, whether it's being environmentally friendly or having the top celeb as the face of their ad campaign. Tiffany's is never one to get left behind. It therefore made sense for the brand to feature a same-sex couple in its ad campaign. What's more, the first couple featured was a real-life couple, making the romance even more special. Tiffany's went on to feature seven same-sex couples in their ad campaign, showing the world that love is universal and is to be celebrated. Number 13. Tiffany's has employed some of the greatest artists and designers in the world. If you want to be the best brand in the world, you need the very best artistic designers to work for you. Enter Elsa Peretti, Angela Cummings, and Paloma Picasso, all of whom designed collections for the luxury brand. The artists lent a sense of creativity and curiosity to the sometimes overtly conservative company. Their works can still be seen in store, and the prints designed by Elsa Peretti can be purchased on silk scarves, a whole new way of wearing Tiffany. Number 14. Tiffany's designed the Yankees emblem, the dollar bill, and the Super Bowl trophy. You may think that Tiffany's only designs jewelry. Well, you couldn't be further from the truth. The brand's produce is at the heart of some of the most important American symbols ever. In 1880, Tiffany's redesigned the Great Seal of the United States, a design which is now on the back of the dollar bill. That's right, you've probably got a bit of Tiffany's sitting in your wallet right now. Not only that, in 1877, an insignia that would become the famous New York Yankees NY logo was stuck on a police medal of honor by Tiffany's and company. The Yankees went on to adopt the logo in 1909. What a home run! And if that wasn't enough for you, when Tiffany & Co. designed and crafted the first Super Bowl trophy back in 1966, the American Professional Football Championship game wasn't called the Super Bowl, and yet the design has remained one of the most sought-after sports prizes in the States. It doesn't get much more American than that. Number 15. Oscar winners just can't get enough of Tiffany's diamonds. We all know movie stars love to be covered in jewels when they hit the red carpet, especially if they're up for an award. It's therefore no surprise that some of the biggest names opt for Tiffany's for the occasion. When Natalie Portman took to the Golden Globes red carpet in 2011, the balletic actress was wearing some elegant Tiffany studs with a matching necklace. Portman would go on to win the Golden Globe that evening and, of course, the Oscar later that month. Likewise, when Oscar winner Anne Hathaway co-hosted the 83rd Academy Awards, she was wearing an exquisite Tiffany's 94-carat, $10 million Lucida Star Diamond necklace, diamond earrings, and a diamond ring. Other Oscar-winning actresses that have selected Tiffany's above all other diamonds are Penelope Cruz, Jennifer Lawrence, Sandra Bullock, Jennifer Hudson, and Kate Winslet. So if you have your goals set on an Oscar, better grab yourself some Tiffany's. There you have it, 15 things you didn't know about Tiffany's. From their history to their innovative work, the brand has held true to its values whilst remaining at the forefront of luxury. I hope this video inspired you to learn more about the brand and maybe, just maybe, have you purchasing one of their amazing pieces of jewelry. If you had $2.1 million to spend on one item, what would it be? Would you go for the Tiffany Important Diamond? Bonus fact, did you know that the Russian imperial family were renowned purveyors of Tiffany's? 
The emperor and empress, along with their children, all enjoyed the high-class taste and decadence the brand had to offer, and would often buy jewels for their grand balls and appearances. Who's to say where the jewels are now, though? Perhaps seized by the protesters of the Russian Revolution, or maybe hidden somewhere waiting to be found again. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.